Good morning, guys. Starting today at the dog park. Woo! Look, we got the whole dog park to ourselves. Look at that. Look at this. This place is ridiculous. They have dog poop bags. All these statues that are like totally useless. Now we got the two doggies here. Two best friends, Jack and Gatsby. Yeah. <laughs> I dub thee Gatsby of the Night Realm. I just got out of the shower and I'm sorry that I haven't been vlogging too much in the past week. Actually what I've been doing is I've been working on this one website for the past year and it's almost ready to be launched. It's been this huge project and I've just been working on it all night and all day and I just haven't had any time for anything else, including vlogging. I've been just like waking up super early and going to sleep super late and doing that every single day. And so I definitely want to share it with you guys when the site is launched. I'm sorry to say that my days have been just like not that interesting because I've just been so incredibly busy with this website. The exciting thing is that the website is going to launch very soon. It's a website and a web app and it's going to be an actual mobile app too, which I've never done before. So that should be really exciting. If you guys didn't know, I do internet marketing stuff. I've been actually working on more um, web development kind of stuff too, project management, which hopefully will go incredibly well. I'm really excited for this and I will definitely share it with you guys because I think that you guys can get involved when it gets launched. But um, right now I have to keep everything a secret. Sorry for not having too many vlogs and there probably won't be too many for this week too. Just, just to let you guys know. But after that, the vlogs will resume to the normal schedule. Sorry about that. It's been crazy, crazy busy. Oh no, look, my sea hair fell into my rock flower anemone and it's like eating it. Its mouth is like around. I'll try to save it. Okay, I separated them. It looks like he's okay. He's moving again. Very, very, very slowly. This rock flower anemone must have been like, nom, 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 nom. It looks like there's a car show going on. Gatsby. Look at all these cars here. Gatsby. Hey! Oh, look at all the cars. Gatsby's point of view of all the cars here. All these cars here. Uh, this one. They've got like a transformer car. <laughs> Look at this one, Gatsby. <laughs> Are you enjoying it, Gatsby? Yeah? Hope you had a good time. <laughs> And for dinner today, I'm gonna to be boring and make pesto chicken pasta again, just because I have so much pesto sauce. Let's get some of the chicken out. Extra tender. Ooh, it's the best, the best one from Costco. It's not for you, sir. You already had your dinner. And let's get some pasta noodles out, rotinis. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is getting all the slime off, just running this under cold water here. There we go. Ooh. Beg all you want. It doesn't work on me. So this is all the chicken. Other than salmonella, the main thing, which is actually even bigger that people get from chicken is called Campylobacter jejuni, which a lot of people don't know about, but pretty much dies right away if the chicken has um, been cooked at all. But it is even bigger than salmonella for the cause for why people get sick. Anyway, got the chicken over here. I'm gonna do some olive oil stuff. 
Oh, another thing that's really uh, weird that I keep laughing about, I don't know why. I was wiping my hand with the Chipotle napkin, so I just thought about it. But, you know, Chipotle, whenever I'm behind someone and I hear the, the person like, Oh, I want to eat healthy. I want to get a salad. I'm like, the Chipotle salad, if you guys didn't know, has more calories than just a regular burrito bowl. You can even check in California, what they do is they have to post the calorie count. If you look at the salad versus just the burrito bowl, it actually has a lot more calories. And that's because Chipotle's salad is the burrito bowl, except they just put extra lettuce on it and they give you salad dressing. So you're getting the burrito bowl. Every, all the ingredients of the burrito bowl is in the salad. That just always makes me laugh. Anyway. I'm gonna dry off the chicken, put it inside, and season it with olive oil and salt and pepper. On top, that way, there's already olive oil on the pan, and heat it up. I show this all the time, but I think it's pretty cool. It's something that Aaron taught me, my old roommate. So I'm waiting for the water to boil, by the way. Put a little bit of salt inside, mix this up, and stick this on the plate here. And we're gonna season the top side. Salt. We're putting pesto sauce on it, so you don't really need to flavor it with anything else. Pepper. It's hard to do this with one hand. What are you doing there? Anyway, we got some rotini pasta here. This is boiling. Season side down. Magic. And then we season this side over here. And then cover and cook. Stirring the pasta. Ooh. Mmm, chicken's done. Should almost be done too. Al dente. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Blowing off the pasta now. Beautiful. Okay, now time to add the pesto sauce. Ta da! Okay, now I just gotta make my portion for today. Bam! There we go. Pesto chicken pasta. Took. I don't know, like 10 minutes to make. Now we just gotta put the rest in the refrigerator and I'll eat cold pasta for tomorrow. Time for dinner. Okay, Gatsby, it's time for bed. What are you doing? What is this? You're crazy. <laughs> okay, good night. Gatsby, you know your name, right? Yeah, and you of course never associate it with any punishment. Only use his name when it's something good. Like, the second most important thing I would teach the dog is to come when called. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that. The other things that I would teach a puppy is more behavior.